Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another shirt review. This time, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, this is the Brighton 22-23 season away shirt. Obviously, if you follow me on social media, you would have seen the post yesterday. But anyway, let's get straight down to this. Guys, you know what? Do you have a big crap that you enjoy it? Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So, on Twitter and on Facebook and on Instagram yesterday on my social medias, the new Brighton away shirt from the 20, 20, 2022-23 season, um, hashtag BHAFC. As I said, if you do follow me on social media, that is. But today, I'm going to review it. So, obviously, I did put it on to take the pictures yesterday, but I have not actually sat there and told you about it and what I think of it and also all the other bits and bobs. So, anyway, let's start with... Well, let's start with showing you, first of all. Um, as I said, I did wear it yesterday um, for the pictures. Just get this up to the camera. So I've got the Sport 7 FC. I'm not sure well you can see that. But there's the Sport 7 FC. Um, if you, not Sport 7 FC, sorry, just Sport 7. Um, now, if you do see me at Brian Gates with the Sport 7 on the back, more than likely it'd be me anyway. Um, but yeah, it's a very good uh, shirt. I do like how Nike have actually sort of, you know, decided the Brighton, they, uh, not the Brighton ladies, the England ladies shirt this uh, summer for the Euros, that which is currently going on. And they pretty much put it into the Brighton design. And I do like that. I think that's very clever by Nike. It's certainly out for me anyway. I thought maybe we're going more back to the greeny black. But no, I do like the orange shirt. Um, what else have I got to show you before I pop this on? Well, I've got the both sleeve sponsors as well. Um, well, the one sleeve sponsor. And I've also got the uh, Premier League badge, which is what all the kits will have. I have one, league, one sleeve sponsor and the Premier League badge on the other side. Now, how much did this cost me all together? It cost me £72. Um, very expensive shirt to buy purely because I think you know Brighton standards but Spurs do have to 74 so it is £2 cheaper there pretty much I like the black in the uh, front and the black the black is in I'm not sure how well you can actually see that there you go you can actually see it a bit better now see the black inside that it really is nice. The black stands out more, obviously, if you get in real life. I know some Brighton fans are all doing their away shirts um, and they're arriving within the next couple of days, I expect. But this is one Brighton shirt I actually do like. Um, it's the same as last season's wear with Brighton. That the um, fact of I do like the shirt. Last year, they called it turquoise. I'll call it mint green. You can call it whatever you want. Um, this year I call it orange, people can call it red and they can call it whatever, whatever they want, you know, it's your opinion, um, I've only got mine. The black collar on the top as well, um, there you go. I've got no v-neck, which actually I do like because a few clubs have gone v-neck, collared. I know Main Knight have gone both collared on their home and away shirt for the 22 slash 23 season. I think Arsenal have as well. Um, so I'm quite glad that Brighton or Nike have not brought the collar back for the, for this season for the Brighton, uh, you know, for Brighton. It's just going to be a very um, interesting, you know, kit to wear and see how it stands out as well. And there's only a few clubs really we can wear it against because of probably the kit cash. As you can tell, Sports 7 now, I'm just going to show you this. Can you see the, obviously, can see the white um, go this way? There you go. So I've got the sport there, you can see the black and the white outline with all the letters. That is going to be vital for, especially the outline, especially I do it with, you know, my thumbnails. The outline does actually make the text stand out a lot more, um, especially with a dark uh, colour like orange or red. And then you put the black, that makes it does stand out a lot more. So that is going to make it a lot easier for the referees um, to you know, uh, to read the players' names when they need to. Um, right, so I think there's only one other job to do, and that's for me to pop it on and to actually see what it feels like and tell you, you know, what it feels like, and I may give it a rating at the end. Let's see 
what happened? So here I am with the new uh, 20, 2022-23 Brighton Away shirt on. It feels quite nice, feels quite spacious. I do like my shirt, it's pretty big, uh, baggy anyway, so, you know, it's... But it does feel quite nice inside, uh, you know, when we've got the winter. It's going to be interesting to, you know, see what way it sticks to the skin. Obviously, I think it's plus 30 outside in a minute, so... You know, it may feel a bit different once you've won it a few times. Obviously, you have to find out yourselves. But yeah, as I said, you got the uh, the Brighton badge there, black and white. Um, we've had that for a few seasons, I believe. The American Express in black as well. Let's see if I can just get that up. Hold on. There you go. You can just see the tip of it. And then you got the uh, the black tick as well, which is obviously. Obviously goes with the black American Express and the black and white Brighton badge. Um, but yeah, it's a very nice shirt. I'll probably, you know, give it a 6 out of 10. I will be doing a shirt rating when all the Premier League shirts get released. I'll just wait for the away shirts to get released for the home ones. And then obviously I'll do the home ones when we just wait for the bright one, I believe. But, you know, Brighton have done the backwards this season, bought the away one out first. I'm actually quite glad they have as well. Um, you know, we're going to have to see what the home one looks like, but anyway, guys, I've got to bring this video to an end. So, guys, you know what to do, you're a big fan of you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.